I got a comment earlier about, <laughs> and then he deleted it right away, about something about, like, wanting me to go back to play more of this. Oh my god, my popcorn. My popcorn, what the fuck? The fuck popcorn. Okay. Anyway, he wanted me to, he, you want to know what he said? He said the most fucked up shit I ever thought I would hear any of my viewers say. He said, yes, go play more quarry. Kill all those kids. I, that is the most fucked up comment I have ever fucking heard. <laughs> I'm no joke. That's not even, I'm not even fucking joking, that actually was the comment. Anyway, we're playing more quarry. Okay, because I got to please my fans. The fans I got, fans we're going Hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp. It's like a romance apocalypse. Mm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space god, Jeremy. Oh, he's spelling. Nothing to spell. You don't look cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be allowed to grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Give me a second. You guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. Yeah, it's, it's, I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on with this thing. It's just Dylan, wait. Cool. Thanks, guys. Skill. 
Who the fuck is this? I, who the fuck is this card? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Is, is that is, is that the only chapter this? Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help. Aha! Uh -huh, the plot thickened. She took out the trash. What's that? Hmm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then, she took out the trash. Then, she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake! Now she's a trashy single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Should we test that theory? But I gotta see some for the ride home. Oh no, I'm I'm sure you'll find some way to fill the awkward silence. <laughs> yep, gonna be a super fun, not at all awkward ride. Thanks for that, bud. Okay, well at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, Ryan. Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. So she really just dumped you just like that? Well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans, and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't gonna work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try like long distance or whatever? Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a, a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, 
Here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Huh. That seems legit. <laughs> So, are we sure that this old rust bucket's rubberly? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you. It'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. You're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. Here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. Do, 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 do. I love them. Oh, dick. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll try to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Hmm, huh. not a peep. Either got zero signal, or everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. Nah. You know what, whatever, I can go one more day with a phone. Hey, the drive's not that far. Where is everybody else? Look, I don't I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick, you're way smarter than me and you're a super hot stuff that gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah. Keep German Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Baby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. Uh -huh. Okay, 
well, well, fine. I'm just going to do a quick sweep then, make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. Weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Oh shit. I didn't notice that the first time. Or two second time. Damn, that's actually kinda creepy. I like that. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Final. Time to let loose and the moose is the moose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Yeah. Confident. It's just acting. That's what people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh, Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. So, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But, that's us. You and Nick could be different. How do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, see any crowds? One last victory lap around I do camp? it so many times. I'm actually gonna piss her off. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. Everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> no, I did a good thing. Too close. Sorry, squirrel dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time, like, ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I don't want to throw you out of the cart. Guys, shut the fuck up. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, 
Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. Is nobody on phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patch? What? No. It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, where were you guys? What would you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why? To keep out bears? But apparently. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeal. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off, being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing over there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh. Podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. I'll be right fucking back. Our long snack for the day. I got one, two, three, four, five. Five things to eat and drink and fuck. That was joking, by the way. Ghosts. But the last one. Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. That, that's what I was listening to is actually about this place. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Hagger Packets Quarry. Yes. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them this? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire. A few years back, she haunts the woods looking for a lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook kind of stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. 
or kill you, or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga Corey. <laughs> you made that up. Right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Oh yeah, you got a cooler one? Oh no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, 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 seriously, dude, I think it just it came out wrong. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. <laughs> dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Packeteers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Kinda what if our bags weren't locked up? What's that? So, like you said, of course, Mr. H, we're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> we're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about ghost H, stories? H is, H is Q. The hag of Hackett's Coria. I was just... <sighs> For Pete's sake, Ryan... Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the red. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchecked. Hey dude, I'm like the chillest flippin' bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Let me shoot the van, okay? So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hold that thought, partner, I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? They're almost out of here, all right? Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. This is a waste of time. No, should I have? Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. I mean, I heard... Uh, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. So, anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing we thought I should do. Right. Y you know, it's, uh, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know. I'm not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. Her family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it!
this is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. Still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh, Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls I get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb sucking, bed wetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the, the, the Hager Hackett School. Just think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. It was just a fun story that was really interesting. I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several. Several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially hey, when you go and say, no hi, I'm a paranormal expert. Hackett's quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. What? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. 
Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both of you are sad you missed us. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. <clears throat> right where I left it. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. <laughs> Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Wait, what happens if we, if we shoot the wolf? If...
focus. Try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What the hell are you doing? Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm going to have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, it's no. The... I am not leaving without... It's the way it's got to be. Yes, so. Come on, Jacob. Start her up. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine this bridge. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing no, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Not, not fault of you. Shit. Come all on. right, dude, chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. <laughs> everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be mm. back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! to stay inside that we're not leaving until the morning are you kidding me um are you kidding me what are we supposed to do well we should go inside like he said we could go inside until morning yeah or or we could do something else No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, 
Dude, fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. Em, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. Alright, yeah. No, Artie. I, I didn't mean. I thought that's my hand, Ryan. Yes. Yes. I'm only doing that to break a promise with two. This is a bad idea. God damn. Uh. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um. Okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You will get some firewood, uh, and then I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this! I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes to fur gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I'll try to help you. 
I've tried to warn you. I've even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. Cycle continues for some, at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me. But not. But what you did here, but don't you dare. I was hoping you'd say that. We'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves, and look out for my cards. Good night, everyone. I'm going to fucking bed. You're welcome for part two, but jeez, fucker.
clever. Santa got you. I'm not sure. Oh, can we ever? Is there an option to kill Max? Max death. I mean, I mean, that was just a, that was just a given. Oh my god, please tell me what Abigail's death is. This isn't you. This, this isn't...
tell her I'm fine with it. Jacob? Or... Mora? <gasps> no, we can't do that. You have to kiss Jacob. You have to kiss Jacob. Uh, sorry. Okay. I don't care, obviously. I don't know if that's good. Yeah, don't steal the girl. Don't steal. I don't steal. Know. No! What? In the quarry, six of the nine counselors can turn into werewolves, but have you noticed how differently the final moments within their transformations are? That's because the werewolf curse shows everyone's true feelings, very complex, and personality shortly before they transform. Max shows uncertainty about what is about to happen to him, just like he's uncertain of his future under the university rejection. Nick is aggressive and rejected towards Abigail, showing potential anger and trust issues. Laura tries her best to stop the transformation even in its final moment, showing her determination towards achieving her goals, similar to how determined she is to become a vet. Jacob, both alone and when talking to Emma, insults himself and says that no one likes him, showing clear signs of self-doubt and self-pity, and that beyond his confident personality, is actually an emotional, self-critical young man. Emma becomes aggressive towards Abigail or even insults her followers, showing that she does not care about anyone else but herself, just like when she kissed him. And Dylan not only positively saves Kayla from an infected Emma, he also schemes at her to run away as he's about to turn to keep her safe, showing that the well-being of those who fall to him is his priority, a true protective threat. In the quarry, six of the nine counselors can turn into werewolves, but have you noticed how differently the final moments within their transformations are? That's Could you have changed? I'm gonna listen. Yeah, we really we couldn't even save Kate. Fucking, oh no, no, we couldn't have. The Taylor Park Boys. The Trailer Park Boys. So, I waste the court's time with this. Two minutes, that's it. Your Honor. Uh, I'm, I'm going to grant it. I know what harm I'm going to do, Mr. Stevens. You've got this thing slowing up, right? You go ahead, Ricky. Thanks, bud. Get Corey and Trevor. Mr. Lady's testimony. Shouldn't. Honestly, now I warned you about the time for this shit. You got no problem being hooked up to the breathalyzer, do you, lady? You, you shouldn't be drunk. You drove here today. Smart. Charges against Ricky, Julie, and Bill Sorf. After 30 days in jail. You look like a dick. Fuck you. After 30 days in jail and 750 hours of community service. That's not that bad, guys. That's pretty good. You hear that, lady? He never stopped fucking with me, huh? He couldn't let it go. And look what happened. You look like a dick. Fuck you. Richard, get it together. Do you want to spend a week in jail effective immediately? Did you say a week? Would you rather have two? Looks good. Just... Listen, Trent, can I please go to jail for a week playing the hockey game? Please, it's only a week. Have fun. Yeah. Really? Come. At Domino's, you can get more than just amazing, delicious pizza. There's also lava cakes, bread bites, and more. So I leave here. 
Let's see if I can get the part of it. has gone from an underground cult favourite to an international sensation as audiences around the world have warmed to the foul-mouthed antics of Ricky, Julian and Bubbles. But how much do you really know about the people behind the show? Here's a look at the untold truth of Trailer Park Boys. Almost nobody was professional. Instead of professional actors, many of the original cast were friends of creator Mike Cladenberg. Rob Wells and John Paul Tremblay, who played Ricky and Julian, met Cladenberg in high school and went on to run a pub and pizzeria on Prince Edward Island before leaving to work on the show. Another of Cladenberg's buddies was Mike Smith, who was so funny when he visited the set to record some audio tracks that they added into the cast as Bubbles. John Dunsworth, who plays Jim Leahy, had the most experience out of the original cast, having worked steadily as an actor since the 1960s. While J-Rock actor Jonathan Torrens also had some experience as the host of a teen-oriented talk show called Jonovision. Close call. After an early career as a local TV producer in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Clattenburg shot a feature-length Trailer Park Boys pilot on his own dime. In 2000, he flew to Toronto to pitch the show to TV executives. Unfortunately, a mockumentary about a group of foul-mouthed petty criminals wasn't an easy sell. Every network gave him a firm no. Clattenburg had actually given up and was preparing to return to Nova Scotia when he decided to give it one more shot. He and producer Barry Dunn cold call showcase, a relatively new cable channel that was still trying to find its niche. To their shock, the vice president of programming picked up the phone and they were in her office pitching the show in 25 minutes. Showcase loved the pilot and the Trailer Park Boys series was given the green light. Slow burn. Trailer Park Boys debuted on Showcase in 2001, but it didn't exactly set the world alight in its first season. Michael Jackson, who played Trevor, says that one early fan organized a party to celebrate the show, and the whole cast decided to go. Unfortunately, no one else showed up, and the cast spent the night partying with their one fan. Fortunately, Showcase was a struggling young channel in the... You know, just to see if we're... Syncopation. I'm just going to cut a card, and I'm going to show you the card, and I'm going to try to tell you what it really is. Okay.
visiting me by the Trailer Park Supervisors Act. I am officially condemning this shit. Damn it! You can't do without Mr. Lee. That's all I have for me and my kitties. Shit clock sticking bugs for you, your shit rats, and your shit turd friends. Shit, man. 